Hi, I'm Dr. Prashant Kumar Balki, Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, GIS College of Engineering, Kulani, Nodia. Advanced Welding Technology, ME703A. Today is my second lecture, the review of welding processes. First of all, classification of welding processes. That is, one is uh, fusion welding, another is solid state welding. In fusion welding, arc welding, that is, cylinder metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, T welding, submerged arc welding, flux coal arc welding, electro slag welding, etc. Gas welding, argon. That is oxy acid in gas welding, air acid in gas welding, oxyhydrogen or gas welding, special gas welding. Third is resistance welding, RSW, RSEW, EW, EEW, FW, etc. Intense energy beam welding, that is plasma arc welding, electron beam welding, laser beam welding. In solid state welding, cold welding, gold welding, pressure welding, diffusion welding, friction welding, friction steel welding, set this. Welding classification again uh, this oxy fuel gas welding, air acetylene gas welding, oxy acetylene gas welding. Oxyhydrogen gas welding. In arc welding, there are several arc welding processes out there. Uh, there are gas metal arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding, plasma arc welding, silicon metal arc welding, star oil arc welding, submerged arc welding, carbon arc welding, flux coal arc welding. In solid state welding, diffusion welding, explosive welding, forge welding, friction welding hot pressure welding, roll welding, and ultrasonic welding. In resistance welding, flash welding, flash resistance welding, archimation welding, projection welding, resistance beam, resistance beam welding, resistance spot welding, upset welding. Other welding processes and allied processes. Electron beam welding, electro slag welding, induction welding, laser welding, Thermite welding. Allied processes, that is one is bridging and another is soldering. In bridging, deep bridging welding, deep bridging, furnace induction bridging, infrared bridging, resistance bridging. In soldering, two types of soldering, soft soldering and hard soldering. Two categories of welding processes. One is fusion welding. The coalescence is accomplished by melting the two parts to be joined. In some cases, addition filler metal to the joint. Example, that is arc welding, resistance spot welding, well, spot welding oxy fuel gas welding, etc. And another is solid state welding, where heat and or pressure are used to achieve coalescence, but no melting of base metals occurs and no filler metal is added. Example, forge welding, diffusion welding, friction welding. Please, but again, I am telling you the, what is welding. Welding is the process of joining two similar or dissimilar metals by application of heat with or without the application of pressure and with or without the use of filler metal. The heat may be generated either by from combustion of gases, electric arc, electric resistance, or by chemical reactions. The application of welding, it is widely used as a fabrication and repairing process in industries like fabrication of ships, pressure vessels, automobile bodies, offshore platform bridges, welded pipes, ceiling of nuclear fuels, and explosive etc. 
Now the there is a various application in the welding that is metal arc welding, uh, manual metal arc welding. Another is space sieve welding. So, where spaces welding is performed, and also underwater welding. This is a very new technique. And underwater welding is performed in the underwater. The welding processes one is arc welding, resistance welding, sieve fuel gas welding, and other fusion welding processes, solid state welding and the welding quality and all these you know, seven is weldability the material how the material is can be weld and which is whether it is weldable or not arc welding principle of work a suitable gap is kept between the work and electrode a high current is passed through the circuit electric energy is converted into the heat energy producing a temperature of 3000 to 4000 degrees centigrade. This heat melts the edges to be welded and molten pool is formed. On solidification, the welding joint is obtained. In arc welding, an electric arc between an electrode and the workpiece or between two electrodes is utilized to weld base metals. Most of these processes use some sealing gas while other employ putting up hot flux says to prevent the well pool from surrounding atmosphere. This is a typical uh, principle arc welding process that is power source AC or DC power source that is welding machine and the electrode cable, electrode holder, electrodes, consumable and non-consumables and uh, sometimes filler material is added that is also shown and uh, this portion molten weld metal in the middle portion and the arc is formed and then molten metal is there and the direction of the cable is in the left side so, and the cable part cable is there it is for arcing An arc is generated between two conductor, namely cathode and anode. Consider direct current, DC. When it is separated, the air between the electrode ionized by potential difference and that electrical resistance of the air column. An arc is sustained electric discharge through the ionized column called plasma between the two electrodes. The arc produces a temperature of around 3600 to 4000 degrees centigrade at the T. This heat melts the metal and the electrode and producing a pool of molten metal, sometimes called a scatter. This scatter solidifies behind the electrode as it is moved along the joint and result is a fusion bond. There is a equipment arc welding. There are 17 items. Is one is switch number one is switch box, secondary terminal, welding machine, current reading scale, current regulating hand wheel, leather apron, asbestos hand gloves, Eight is protective glass strap, nine is electrode holder, ten is hand sealed, eleven is channel for cable production, twelve is welding cable, thirteen is chipping hammer, fourteen is wire brass, fifteen earth clamp, sixteen welding table that is metallic, and seventeen is job. Sealed metal arc welding is also called manual metal arc welding, MMA or manual metal arc MMAW. Flux sealed arc welding or informally as teak welding is a manual welding method that uses consumer electrode coated with flux to put the weld. 
this is the figure of silicate metal arc welding. The electrode is coated with flux and, and gaseous shield is formed and welding liquid metal is there and in the top portion slag is produced. An electric current AC or DC from a welding power supply is utilized to create an electric arc between the conductor and also the metal to be joined. Workpiece and also the electrode mills forming a pool of liquid metal, weld pool, that pulls the to create a joint. Since weld is set, the flux coating of the conductor disintegrates, giving off paper that function is sealing gas and providing a layer of slag. Each of that seals the weld space from atmospheric contamination. Because of the flexibility of the process and simplicity of the equipment and operations, sealed metal arc welding is one of the world's first and preferred welding processes. More than 60% welding is, is performed with manual metal arc welding. Sealed metal arc welding continues to be used extensively within the construction of heavy steel structures and in industrial fabrication. The process is used primarily to weld iron and steels, including stainless steels. However, aluminum, nickel, and copper alloy can even be welded with this technique. Arc sealing at high temperature. In arc welding, metals are chemically reactive to oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen in air. Mechanical properties of joint can be seriously degraded by these reactions. To protect operation, air must be sealed from surrounding air. Arc sealing is accompanied by sealing gases, that is argon, helium, carbon dioxide, and fluxes. Arc welding power sources, direct current versus ordinary current. AC machines less expensive to purchase and operate, but generally restricted to ferrous metal. This equipment can be used on all metals and is generally noted for better arc control. Power source and supply, welding transformer, that is AC, welding rectifier, DC, Welding generator, AC or DC, depending on generator. Gas welding. Oxyfuel gas welding, OFW, general term for welding operation that burns various fuels mixed with oxygen. Oxyfuel welding employs several types of gases, which is primarily distinguishing among the members of this group. Oxyfuel is also used in flame cutting torch to cut and separate metal plates and other parts. Ordinary fuel gases for oxyfuel welding, acetylene, gasoline, hydrogen, propylene, and fuel gas, butane, propane, and butane propane mixtures. Oxygen gas welding. Oxygen gas welding is a group of oxyfuel welding process that use acetylene gas as a fuel gas. Most popular fuel among oxyfuel welding because it is capable of higher temperature than any other up to 3480 degrees centigrade. Fusion welding performed by a high temperature flame from combustion of acetylene and oxygen. Flame is directed by a welding torch Pillar metal is sometimes added. Composition must be similar to base metal. Pillar rod often coated with flux to obtain to clean surfaces and prevent oxidation. This is a mixture of C2H2 and uh, welding torch T, flame, solidifies weld metal, that is base metal 
Montel well metal, and the left side is filler door and reduction table. This is a typical oxygen welding operations. Oxygen gas welding, chemical reactions during the burning, two stage chemical reactions of acetylene and oxygen, first stage reaction, C2H2 plus O2 is equal to 2CO plus H2 plus heat. Second stage reactions, 2CO plus H2 plus 1.5 oxygen, O2, that is 2CO2 plus H2O plus heat. Gas welding equipment, that is gas cylinders, black and red, that is one is oxygen and one is acetylene. Hoses, blue and red, that is red is for acetylene and blue for oxygen. Pressure regulators, welding torch. These are the equipment used for oxygen gas welding. Oxygen torch, maximum temperature of the heat is in a home, while outer envelopes spread out and seal work surfaces from atmosphere. The outer envelope is 2300 degree centigrade, 1260 degree centigrade, acetylene feather 2019 degree centigrade, and inner cone is 3480. The neutral film from an acetylene torch indicating temperature achieved. There are three types of flames natural gel, neutral, oxidizing flame, and carburizing flame. This oxidized film, excess oxygen is given. In the middle portion is the oxidized, and outer envelope is neutral flame. And second is oxidized film, third is carburizing or reducing film. Fluxes in gas welding. During the welding operation, hot metal has a tendency to react with oxygen, nitrogen present in the atmosphere. Yeah, and to form oxides and nitrates. The oxides result poor quality, low strength weld. The oxygen oxide forms have higher melting temperature than that of base metal. To avoid this difficulty, a flux is used during welding. A flux is a chemical substance used to prevent, dissolve, or remove the oxides form during welding. It is fusible and non-metallic chemical compound. Fluxes are available in several forms such as dry, powder, a paste, liquid, or coating of on welding rod. In gas welding, olax, sodium chloride are commonly used as flux material. Single flux is not suitable for welding all metals. The type of flux used depends upon the base metal being welded. Function of flux. The flux prevents the formation of oxides and nitrites and other undesirable material in the weld pool. The flux protects the molten metal from atmospheric oxygen to go outside. Flux chemically reacts with the oxides present and form a low melting temperature physical slab. The slab floats during the welding and deposited on the top surface of the joint after solidification of metal. It can be easily brushed off by brass or chipping hammer. Flux acts as better cleaning agent it helps to clean, protect the surfaces of the base metal. Advantage and disadvantage of gas welding. Advantages, it is easy to operate and does not require high skilled operator. Equipment cost is low, low compared to other welding processes like meek, teak, etc. It can be used at site. Equipment are more portable than other type of welding. It can also be used as gas cutting. Disadvantages, it provides low surface finish. This process needs a finishing operation after welding. Gas welding have large heat affected to which can cause changes in mechanical properties of the materials. High safety issue due to neck flame of high temperature. It is suitable only for soft and thin sheets, slow metal joining rate, no sealing area. Application. It is used to join thin metal 
it can use to join both ferrous and non-ferrous metal. Gas welding mostly used in fabrication of sheet metals. It is widely used in automobile and aircraft industries. Most common application of gas welding is for repair works. Solid state welding. Solid state welding is a group of welding processes which produces polishes at temperatures essentially below melting point of base material being joined without the addition of bridging filler metal. Pressure may or may not be used. Welding defects. Welding porosity, slack inclusion, incomplete fusion, weld spatters, cold cracking, hot cracking, undercutting, etc. Thank you.